Today I will be showing you a three bedroom, three bath home located in Summerlin. Granite countertops at the island. Very nice walk-in closet. Hey guys, it's Donovan and today I will be showing you a three bedroom, three bath home located in Summerlin, just under 1.1 million, built in 2022, just shy of 2,400 square feet. Let me know what you think. All right, so we are outside of the property. It's a gated community. The HOA here is $205 a month. There is a community pool, a gate, as I said, and little viewpoint towards the end of the street. So pretty big lot, about 9,200 square feet. So you got stucco, you got some stacked stone on the side, desert landscaping. So right there is the viewpoint. I'll show you guys that towards the end. And then the community pool's just right over there. So you're right in between both. You got pavers, the front door, they extended it a bit. I like the wood-like tile. All right. So tall entryway, the front door. So this would be your formal dining area right here. And you got the living room and kitchen. So very open floor plan, very tall ceilings, lots of natural light. Three panel sliding, sliding glass door. Here you got the TV mount. Eight can lights and three spots for pendant lights right there. Got granite countertops for the island, quartz countertops in the back. You could probably put about four chairs there and then a breakfast table right around here. 42 inch cabinets. I like the backsplash they picked. It's a really Matches the cabinets and ties in with the granite island. Microwave there. Stainless steel appliances. Double oven. The undermount sink. All the appliances stay. No washer and dryer, so you have to get your own. Good size walk-in pantry, pretty deep. So I was saying built in 2002, head into the primary bedroom. A huge shower. And the quartz countertops. So I like that there's no step. You can just walk right in. Or if you have a wheelchair, you can just wheel right in. Do you got a bench there? So I like the tile they picked here. I like that they put the water valve stuff there so you can get the water warm before walking underneath. So the owner already had the cabinet done inside the primary closet, which is nice. So one less thing you have to do, plenty of storage. It's typically you just get the one rod that goes all the way around. Put your 
jewelry. So you got three windows up top, two here and two above. Tons of natural light. And then you have four cam lights as well. Pre-wire for your TV. This one does have a thermostat inside the primary bedroom, which is nice. You got another one right there. Check out the guest bedrooms and then go to the backyard. I like the guest bedrooms are on the complete opposite side. Guest bathroom, dual sinks, quartz countertops as well. This one has a bidet. Tub with tile, pretty nice, clean. So the rooms are about 11 by 11 and 12 by 11. Pretty standard closets for the guest bedrooms. I like how tall these windows are. So we got the half bath for the guest. Laundry room. You got a sink and cabinets above. So three car garage. So this would be one, it's a tandem garage, which means that you would have to pull in all the way to really get a three car. Water softener and tankless water heater. Insulated garage door. You got the MyQ garage door opener, so you can control that from your phone. All right, let's check out the backyard. I did quite a bit of work back here. This house is only a year old, so it's like new. I like that they have the electrical there for the TV. This looks like concrete, but it's not. It's a stone. It's very nice. So they did it just the distance of the yard. So this is a retaining wall, and then they put some artificial grass up there and some bushes and trees. Then they continue the pavers down there. We have a natural gas line for a barbecue grill or a fire pit. They built this deck here. Put a table or a hot tub. So it's a beautiful home, inside and out. I like the bricks they put here for this flower bed with a river rock and some cacti. A little putting green here. Got some rose bushes. I don't know if the HOA would allow it, but this is definitely enough space for RV parking. Then you have your electrical panel right there. Bath, there's a toilet here, so you could tap in to the drain line. If you, they do allow an RV, so you can have it all set up here.
So you can put two ceiling fans. You got the pre-wire there and there. Back inside. So this sliding glass door does not pocket, but two of the panels do slide all the way back. So that is everything about this property. I'll put the description in below. My contact info will be there in the description as well. If you have any questions about this property or any others, feel free to reach out. And let me know what you guys think about this camera. I just got a new one. It's a Sony ZV-1. All right, I'll talk with you guys soon.